Hey, it's James from Finney Electrical, and on today's video, we're doing a van tour. So, thanks to Mad Sparks31, he commented asking for a van tour and for some few other videos. So, we've got some great stuff coming up. So, here's this van tour. There we go, he's a little beast. Let's get him open. A bit aggressive, that. So, this is what we're dealing with. So, this is everything you need to do any install. So, let's start with the little, the little vault. He's got all the good tools in. Like if it uh, gets broken, so no one's gonna nick. <coughs> so he gets locked in the night, so no one can do out. He's got a few breakers that we've collected on over the years. So these come in handy. So we've got a few RCDs, uh, main switches, MCBs. So we've got different brands and they seem to fit most boards. So that's that. What else we got? We've got this big stack. Here we go then. So they just click off nicely. Show you what's in this box then. Here's my little connector blocks, blocks, box then. So we've got these little two lever connectors. I used to keep like like the 20 amp ones and the 32 amp ones, but I thought so I'd keep, we'll just keep one time and we could do lighting and power connections on one. So that's that. We've got some 3 all we've got some ones that'll fit 6 mil here. And then we've got little 5 volt connectors here. Uh, sometimes in the back of the boxes, you'll need loads of ways for earth. For years and that, so we've got some. Uh, what's that? Two for that's eight way. So they come in handy. A few cleats. What else we get? That's just random connectors. So they go in there. A few clips, just because we've got no else to put those. Some black clips there, and then we've got a few stuff uh, like the old style fittings. So that's this box. So here's a fixing box. So the great thing about these, you can detach, leave, and you carry it off into a job nice and easy. So then fixing box, snap him open. There we go. So we've got red plugs. So we don't use brown plugs really. Uh, even though we've got like one in there. But yeah, brown plugs. Uh, we've got little tiny quarter inch, whatever they are. So they're for like if we fit fastening back, back boxes into cupboards. So you see I've got a long screw coming out the back. We've got some inch and a half going on. Uh, two inch tens, so if you get a really bad fixing, we'll send one of these in, so it's a fatter screw with the red plug, it just ends up squashing, just kind of fills out the hole and you get a good fixing. Uh, little three inch eights, so again, if, if you've got a space off things off a wall there, they come in handy. Or if you're trying to go through like a plaster ceiling rose, those will reach up into like the joist above, so they come in. So I've never not been able to fix anything with just these and red plugs, so. Grommets here, so we've got little 20mm 20, 20 grommets and little crimp there, rather 6mm crimps. There we go, M6. M6 penny washers, we love penny washers. So, penny washer fixing, obviously we use an inch and a half eight, this, and a plug, and we just fix back any cables. So, love penny washer fixings. Got some 1mm clips for flat, 2 5 clips, and then we've got some little curly whirly plasterboard fixings. So, these are brilliant if you can't get. You can't find the wood on a, on a plastered ceiling. There we go. That's that box. Next box then. What we're dealing with. Little testing box. So, we've got some classic fuse wire that we've pulled off old jobs. So you never know when you come to like a, get called out and a, I don't know, smoke trips or a light bulb pops or something, alarms going off. There we go, little five amp fuse there. Just can get them back, on, back up and running. Uh, Blind grommets, little 20mm blind grommets, they're coming handy. Definitely for the ICRs, if it's like a hole in, hole in stuff, you just bung it with a 20mm hole. You bung, bung, bung 20mm holes with that. Uh, we've got some stickers then for testing. So that's your next tester. We've got mixed wiring colours, after these stickers, little bits of buzz bar, 25mm blind grommets, and then some, some more tape for the little pig touch printer. That's in that box. Here we go, next little box then. So this is his little, little industrial box, so little 20 mil. These are your compression glands. We've got like little third crimps, roofing boards. So if you need to uh, like the braiding for cables, stuff like that. Got some little tie wrap mounts. So these come in handy. If you just yeah, screw that back, you can get your tails back to the wall nice and neat and sweet. Compression glands again. Big fat compression gland for all the fuse boards we do. That's great, so there's a hole knocked out for like, the tails to fit through. Little sticky pad fixings, so like three phase boards, we'll put these in and do a tie wrap round all the line and neutral conductors there, just to keep them all neat and sweet. 
a long uh, self tapper and a short self tapper. And that's about it for this box, I think. Oh, I've got another box full of uh, M6 nuts and bolts there, apparently. So that's that box. Aha, the box I always forget about. So this is like my little my little data box, a CCTV box. So we've got some little connectors there. I've uh, got some DC little connectors. What else we got? I've got some Cat5 um, ends. So you basically just put your cat, you strip it, Cat5, shove it in the end, and there's a crimper there. You can crimp it. Got a few alarm uh, sensor internals and some coax little ends there. Cat6 ends. What else we got? Uh, Cat5 coupler. Um, these are like your F-type connectors and your couplers, so you can extend um, coax, that's about it. And then we've got some like, little alarm fuses there, some small fuses. And that's that box. Right, next one we've got the pack testing box. So this goes at the bottom of the pile, so we don't do much pack testing. We've got two testers. The story is, um, I think we lent this to one of the engineers and we needed to pack test that day, so we ended up buying another one. Um, but this back pack's brilliant, you literally just press a button and it just tells you pass or fail, so you don't have to mess about with numbers. But this one, it takes about five seconds to get a reading and it tells you everything you need to know under the sun, but that's a bit more technical. So we use that for fault finding, actually. If we're getting like higher readings, we can plug in appliances to see what's dodgy, so that is quite brilliant, actually. Uh, that's about it, so we've pack testing stickers and then like the pack testing adapters and the little charger for this. There we go, so that's this side. And what's this? A magical object. It's a broom. I don't know how that got there. Well, those electricians don't use brooms, do we? These are a lifesaver. If you check these out, it's got little shoe protectors here. So you just bang them over. And they're really robust, so I do recommend them. We tried the blue ones out. In fact, I think we got a foot back under the seat. And yeah, they just split straight away. But we've had, we had these a few months now. We just, just put them over your shoes when you walk in. And they just hang up there, so it's just really nice. And customer thinks, so oh, they've got out of the way to protects the carpet so they're dead happy so that's them a little dust pan as well can't forget that without the broom here we go up top here then so we've got some tire wraps uh some cleaning stuff and i don't put silicon up there but this is actually a the jelly stuff to make it waterproof for outside boxes so we know we've got like spare silicons up there so we normally just get clear we don't bother with no else And then we've got the lighting for the van. So all I've done is quite dodgily just wired in pause on their gear. So basically when, they, when those lights come on, this LED strip comes on, so it's just 12 volt. It's nice and browny on a night. So nice little detail there. And here's my sexy little magnets. We'll keep it well away from the camera. So it just stays up there. We'll just magnetize all the screwdriver bits just so you don't have your screws dropping out day in, day out. So that's a handy piece of kit. And we've got a great thing about these. Like I said, they all just attach together. So go back, dead easy, just give it a little wiggle, flip on side, and that ain't going anywhere, look at that, we've also got some wooden blocks in at the bottom, so that's, it can't even tip over, so if you get a lot of weight behind it, they can just fall over like it did before, <sighs> and there's an ice cream bell again, <laughs> I'm just really angry that we didn't buy one, there we go, it's gone now, so finishing off with the back of the van, what have we got? Got a little pop out bin, so that's brilliant. And I found another magical item there. What else we got? A little silicon gun, that's a soldering iron, and we've got some more soldering stuff there. A bit of uh, grommet strip, that's what we use for the fuse boards. And then we've got these really light bits. There we go, these are all those meter bits. So they just sit behind the van. It's got like a big 20mm bit, 16mm, 25 so it's every, every scenario you could ever want. And some bin bags. There we go. Nice and easy. We'll do the side and then we'll see what's in the box. Oh. Yeah, we'll do the bag tour later. So that's for another video. Can't fit it all in, can we? All right, then. Let's do the side door. Here we go. So here's all the materials boxes. So in the side, we'll just keep all the materials in there. So we've got a box for boxes. So Oh, that's a bit weird, that box for boxes. But here's, your, here's your like little plastic boxes, your surface boxes, metal boxes. So we've got everything on it so you can think of. So that's that one. Hey, next one we've got switches, sockets, that kind of thing. So it's just, they're all packaged up, so it's all clean. 
but yeah, it looks a bit dirty in there and the packets get a bit mucky over time. What else we got? This is like the LED strip box. So there we go. So we've got the JCC 24 volt represent. There we go, we've got a few uh, GU10 lamp holders in case we need to convert anything. And we've got some drivers. Next box down, what have we got? We've got some earth clamps. Metal, this is like all the uh, all the junction boxes. So they are sitting here nicely. So that's that one. And then we've got like a miscellaneous one right at the bottom, which we never go in. So this is just like the random crap box. So we've got like a couple of armor glands, random data cables. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I've got two keypads in. Two keypads, a couple of sensors, and a weird glass two gang switch. So that's wireless as well. So that'll do. And that's the materials boxes. There we go. So this is all the cable as well. So I managed to squeeze everything in this van. So it's just big enough. So we've got a few dust sheets. What's like six mil, ten mil, ten mil earth, a uh, couple of sizes of flex, aerial cable, two five, one mil. So it's all here. Bit of three car in there. Ed's bag sits there. My bag sits on top of there. And that's about it. So we take the bags in at end at night, and everything's locked in there. So nice, nice and easy. So what else we got? We've got a random materials box that we have to return to wholesalers. So it's just like smokes we didn't use. Uh, like an outside socket, a few breakers. So that's to go back. And then finally we've got the Fiesta Resistance of the lock box. We'll show you what's in this box. Here we go, lock box time. So it's unlocked at the moment. So it's got two little locks at the side to open it. It's a bit of a ball ache to open that. What a beast. Put the crowbar in. And let's do this. Here we go, the big treasure chest, the big lock box. Here we go, so it's by Van Vault. It's a beast and everything fits in here. So that's what I wanted. I don't want to bring tools in at the end of the night. It's bolted to the floor, it's not going anywhere and it's locked. So no one's going to steal this. What have we got? Little sight radio, request off Hayden. So Hayden drive the company and he was like, I want to listen to music. So I said, let's do one better and buy the biggest, loudest radio we can, we can find. So that's what that, that, that happened. Got a few uh, ear defenders in here. So they're getting it all out, I'll shift it to one side and the other. Uh, little, that's his little uh, Milwaukee drill we use, 18 volt. We'll just keep a 5.5 in it, so all we use it for. Go chase with that drill. We've got a couple of drills, just because uh, me and Hayden work side by side, like Batman and Robin. Uh, what have we got? Little, this is an amazing torch, it's like a car floodlight and it's brilliant. Uh, what else we got? You saw this on one of the TikTok videos. There we go, five staples, saved us, I'd say, a good four hours of work of clipping. Uh, what else we got? Then we've got like spare batteries. This beast of a set, which I think Hayden's pulled them all out of, but little Bosch spare bit set there. Awesome. Got a few dust masks down there, hole saws just generally going in this general direction. And then we've got his dead, so that just captures all the dust basically when we drill down lights out. And that's what we got. Drag it all this way. We've got a spare crowbar, so when Hayden wants to use his crowbar, he's got one. We've got like a, a data tester there. There we go. Got extension lead. There we have got more dust masks. We've got some core cutters for like when we've got drilled out for fans and that. And then we've got this little wash drill. So this is his main workhorse. So this does all the all the chasing. We put like a little chase a bit in there, I don't know if you can see that, but it's there somewhere. There we go, so just bang that in, and that does all the chases in the walls, for cables, we've got a little 5.5 five in there for fixing, so that's that little beast. There we go, and then we've got a little multi-tool, multi-tool, this is Makita multi-tool, that were a Bosch drill by the way, and it needs a new bit apparently, but we've got about 50 down there, so we go, and we've got some spares here, so, Again, just a cheap old thing. So I don't have to go Makita, but that's that. And we've got the tester. So we've got a fluke tester, if you like fluke. Here it is. So in this little bad boy, we've got a few connectors and that for doing end to ends and that. Uh, ring tests. There's this little fluke. So uh, it's the fluke 1662 multifunctional. 
that's what we use. So I think that's about it. Isn't it? I think last thing's just a cab, so we'll show you where all the magic happens. Right, to the front. Oh, ladders on top, that's it. That's, we've got a pair of triples. That will go into an airframe, and it's really scary when the airframe opens and you go up again. We do the top set, so. Nice set of, I don't know what, how many treads are them? One, two, three, four, five tread, and uh, six if you're going to use the top. This is, this is where the magic happens. So Hayden's was supposed to tidy this today. Yeah, because I had a little network meeting, but um, I said at the front, just make sure all these go in the right places, and he hasn't, so we've got a few uh, little connector locks there. This is where the magic happens, and of course, classic McDonald's bag, must go through at least two of these a day. Says the beast, cheap and cheerful Bolingo, the black bullet as it's called at Round Wakefield. So then, what have we got? A little, little charging station for all your GoPro action, for all the footage we do. Charge your phone while you're driving. If I had Apple, I could plug it in down there. And then you'd have a little Apple car player there. And you can get, which is, I don't know if I've showed you service mate before, but you can get your app and all the customers come up on there. How cool is that? Uh, what else we got? Plastic shades. And then this is like the secret pen drawer. So I'm like, is it free? We're running out. I'm like, Aiden, can you get me a pen? And he goes in here. And he rattles about in here. And we've got like receipts for car washers and crap like that. And we've got, honestly, we've got a uh, a good uh, collection from Leeds, Harrogate, Durham, Newcastle. We've had them all. So that's the pen, I don't know, compartment, if you want to call it. Sharp is in there as well. And that's about it, really. We don't really keep anything else anywhere. It's got parking sensors, it's got Bluetooth. What more can you want? Well, that's my van tour. It's not very luxurious, you know what I mean? I ain't got like a fancy Ford Connect all splashed out and all that, but cheap and cheerful. I couldn't justify like another five, 10 grand more for a van. So we've gone for the nice, cheap 12 grand van. You know what I mean? You can't beat it. But yeah, you've seen all those tools. You've seen what we use. You've seen as massive stack. You know what I mean? We've got as, we've got as uh, like fixing stack, everything you'll ever need. I mean, we've just turned up to a job and we've just got it. And then we've got his material stack as well. So there we go. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little van tour. And if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when the next upload. As always, have a good for me. And thank you, Mad Sparks. Have a good one.